Okay, here's my review of the new Benjamin Marauder synthetic stock, 25 caliber. All right, let me zoom it in. Okay, there you see. I have mounted a uh, UTG Leapers 3x9x40AO scope. With the scope, rifle weighs in about nine pounds. So it's very, uh, very light rifle. Uh, overall length, about 43 inches. So uh, you, you get a light, compact, powerful combo with this particular uh, Marauder here. Let me zoom in on the uh, stock. The cheek piece is adjustable with two Allen wrenches. You can easily raise it to the scope level to make it comfortable for you. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the stock, you're going to see a sling mount. And there's also a sling mount, there it is, in the front, right there in the bottom. Okay. Now, if you go to the front of the rifle, on the bottom, you're going to see uh, it's a little screw cap comes off. That's where you, uh, that's where you feed the cylinder. And then on the top, the end of the barrel, there's a little screw. You can unscrew the very tip of it, which leads to the, uh, the baffling system, which works remarkably with this rifle because uh, I gotta be honest with you, it's very quiet. I mean, I got a lot of rifles here and this one is very, very quiet. Actually, this new Marauder, um, I think Crossman came out with, uh, they did something where they, I guess they installed a deep pinger in this rifle and um, I know the old ones you would hear that ping when the uh, hammer I guess uh, you know makes it strike but uh, this one here that pinging sound is barely audible so yeah you have here a very quiet rifle let me just uh, focus on the bolt the bolt is ambidextrous, comes from the factory on the right hand side, but for you lefties it's easily interchangeable. The actual bolt has a cap at the end, a plastic cap. Let me just remove it for you. Man, there goes the, uh, the cap. So, let me just focus in on the ammo that I've been using. Um, I've been using the Beeman Silver Bear 26 grain hollow points. The Gamo Rocket Pellets 20 grains. Then the uh, Air Arms Diablo Field 25 grains which is basically the same thing as the JSB Exact King 25, uh, 25 caliber 25 grains. The only flaw that I see with this rifle is that right there, that plastic magazine clip. Now, it, the clip itself is really fully functional. Uh, cycling through the eight pellet magazine is really flawless. The, the, the bolt action is smooth. My only concern is the plastic material. It feels cheap and and by mistake I dropped it on the floor on the concrete floor and it just broke in half and it really it really bothers me and I have to go I have to try and fix it. Um 
So that's my only concern with this rifle. The only, the only other con that I have with it is the gauge at the bottom. So let me just show you the gauge. Hold on one second. All right, so there goes the gauge. The gauge, I mean, it's okay. It's not a deal. It doesn't... Let me just try to focus. There you go. It's easily readable. But it just, again, it just has that plasticky look. I mean, other than that, it's... The rifle's awesome, though. I mean, it's really the... the that plastic magazine that broke that's what I'm really pissed off at. But other than that, this this rifle is awesome. Alright, so there it is. Let me just zoom out. I'm glad I, I, I bought this Marauder, this new one, and added it to my collection. Cause it's really, it's real. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this, and and anybody, and I, I would recommend for anyone to buy this rifle because, like I said, it's it's like I, it's light, powerful, compact, very quiet. It, you know, you're gonna have a lot of fun. I I tell you, I bought, I think I purchased this for what four ninety five. The magazine clips. I ordered a few extras just in case. I goof up and drop them on the floor again. I bought them from PA. I think PA sells them for $14.95 each. But uh, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a good rifle. I'm going to hold. This is a keeper, definitely, for sure. So, um, so thanks for watching. And um, yeah, if you can get your hands on one, definitely pick it up. Okay, thank you.